I'm back! <laughs> this is the first like sit down video that I'm filming in 2017. I just got back from the Philippines and I just want to say it is so good to be home. Nowhere in the world is like home. I'm going to link my travel diary down below. I did film while we were on vacation with my fiance and so you guys can kind of get a feel for the Philippines and some of the activities we did there. Today's video is going to be a what's my bag. This is my bag. It's funny because this was the first YouTube video I planned on making is the what's my bag because at one point in my life, literally what's in my bag videos were my absolute favorite, as I'm sure many of you guys, your favorite videos used to be what's in my bags. I don't really see people filming them anymore. So this is my purse. This is the Celine um, luggage tote in, I think the color is Dune, and I'm pretty sure this is the micro size. Or is this the mini? I can't. I can't remember if this is micro or mini. I just carry it all the time. I take it everywhere with me. It is my baby. I have other purses, but this one is just by far my favorite one. And it's the one I use the most. So I figured I might as well just show you guys what I keep in here. The first thing in here is my wallet. And it's by Prada. And Zach also got this for me for Christmas a few years ago. And I haven't used it in a while, but I just recently decided to start using it again. I go, I have a lot of older wallets and I kind of forget about them, but this is such a nice wallet that I'm like, I can't just let it sit there and not get used, you know? So I'm busting this baby out again. And I just love it so much. It has so much space in here and I always have a ton of crap in my wallets. So this is nice because it helps me organize all of my crap. And most importantly, it has a little pouch for coins because I always need coins for the meters and I never have them on me. So that's one of the reasons why I'm using this again because of the coin pouch. It's also really cool because it has a thing for your um, driver's license and then like a couple credit cards even though I'm not using it right now and it's because I was in the Philippines and I didn't take this wallet with me but usually I like to put my driver's license and credit cards right in here so I can find it right away and then I just have a bunch of gift cards and just random store cards and receipts because I hoard my receipts the next thing I have in here is my other little wallet and keys. And I have this system, okay. This wallet, Zach also got for me, um, but I use this for gift cards. So I have a million and two gift cards and like store cards and I can't put it in this big wallet because if I do, then this will close, which irritates the hell out of me. So. What I do is I put all my gift cards in here and also when I travel, I don't bring my big wallet, I take this one and I just put my credit cards and my driver's license in here. I just don't like to use this because it doesn't have enough space and I'm always like searching for hours and it always like takes me a couple of minutes to find a credit card or my driver's license in here. That's why I only use this for gift cards most of the time. If I'm using a smaller purse, I will usually just use this, but it just gets annoying having two wallets sometimes. So yeah, <laughs> but this is my other wallet and it does have a little keychain thing on it, which I like because I get to put my car keys and house keys and work keys and then of course like pink pepper spray. What girl does not have pink pepper spray? You never know. So. Yes, this is a must for me anywhere I go. I've got my checkbook in here, and it's just because of all the wedding planning things that I'm doing. <sighs> I gotta have my checkbook on me because I'm always writing checks for people, damn it. Next, I've got a little book, and I just use this for ideas. I got this from Home Goods. It's such a cute little notebook. 
um, and it, I call it my YouTube notebook because usually if I get an idea for a video, I will jot it down in here. I'll do some video planning in here, like if I need supplies for a video that I need to purchase, I'll just jot it down in here, and also some wedding stuff. I kind of use it for YouTube slash wedding stuff, but yeah, I definitely need to have a notebook with me. Next is my Invisalign case. As some of you might know, I do have Invisalign, so I have to carry my case in here all the time, anywhere I go, so yeah, I need this baby. Next, I've got my sunglasses, and the ones that I'm using right now are the Key um, and Desi Perkins, the High Key sunglasses. This is what they look like. They're so pretty. Can't really tell how cute they are, but yeah, I've got these. I do like them, but honestly, they feel really cheap to me. So yeah, I mean, I've had expensive sunglasses and I've had like super cheap sunglasses for like $10 and I don't know. These just don't feel like they're great quality. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of key sunglasses. I feel like the quality just is not there. And if I'm gonna spend 60 bucks on a pair of sunglasses, even though it's not like a couple hundred, like designer sunglasses, but still 60 bucks can be a lot of money. And I just expected a little bit more quality. So I'm not super happy with these. I like them because they're really, really cute and they have like the reflective lens and the mirror lens, but I just feel like the quality is not really there. Just my opinion. Next I've got a receipt, and this is oh, for when I got my hair done at my salon, which is Valserin Salon in La Jolla. And yeah, just a receipt for my hair. I guess next I'll go into all the makeup stuff I have in here. Don't laugh at me. The first thing I see is a brush, and I was just using this today, that's why. Um, but I like to keep my highlighter popping, okay? As you can see, highlight is always popping. So this is the Morphe M501 brush, and I've got a couple of these. So whenever I take this bag, I like to make sure I have a brush in here because I've also got my highlight. And the one I have in my bag is the Laura Geller. It's the Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I keep this one specifically in here because it's small, so it fits perfectly in one of the pouches in the bag. So, to keep my highlight game on point. <laughs> Next is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick. I love this so much. It's my one of my favorite nude ones. And it's just so easy. You don't even need to wear like a lip liner with this, which is why I like to carry this one specifically with me. I really like the Kylie ones also, but those ones I can't wear without a lip liner under because it just is so drying. So that's why I choose to keep bow and arrow in here. Next I've got Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner. What else? I've got the Kylie Leo Liquid Lipstick. Carmex. I always, always need to have, I have like 10 Carmexes and I keep them everywhere because I need Carmex in my life. Next I've got one of my favorite scents. This is from, I think it's called Toka. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's the scent called uh, Florence and it's the little travel slice one. I got this from Sephora and seriously guys, it's heaven. I love this so much. My favorite scent of all time is the Jo Malone Peonies and Blush Suede, but this comes at a close second for me. I love this scent so much. So I like to keep a little bottle of this in this specific bag in case I need to feel fresh. Next, I've got Benadryl because Zach has really, really, really bad allergies and he has allergies to shellfish and peanuts, like really, really bad shellfish and peanut allergies. Um, so I always carry a couple Benadryls in every single purse in my car, in his car. We just always have to have Benadryl. I've also got an EpiPen. This is 
peanut allergy is so severe, he will go into anaphylactic shock if I don't carry this on me and he gets, you know, exposed to peanuts somehow. I just always need to be prepared. We have this in every purse and every car just in case. And if you have allergies, you know you've got to have your EpiPen on you. What is this? A little soy sauce packet. And that just really makes me crave sushi. So I think after this, I'm gonna go get some sushi. Next, I've got a mint in here, probably from a restaurant. <laughs> I've got pesos. These are Filipino pesos, because I just got back from the Philippines. And Zach really likes the 200 peso bill. So, and we hadn't seen one. This is the first one we saw, so he decided that he wanted to bring this home with him. Next, I've got a little coin pouch. It says Say La Vie Paris on it. It's really dirty. I got this from Brandy Melville, and it currently has no coins in it. But yeah, I have an empty coin pouch. <laughs> I've got a Target receipt in here for a pair of socks. Oh my god, I've been looking for this! <gasps> you guys, this is an iPod. An 8 gigabyte iPod. Oh. oh my god, an iPod, you guys. This is the one that Zach bought for me. Okay, let me tell you a little story about this. So, we have been together since high school, and I was in my senior year of high school, and I remember I had a little iPod and I lost it and I came home crying that day. I called Zach crying and I told him, I was like, I lost my iPod, babe. I was so devastated. And so he comes over and, you know, we hang out, whatever. I saw him almost every day and when he leaves, he calls me and he's like, babe, go look under your pillow on your bed. I left something there. So I go look and he left a brand new iPod for me under my pillow. <gasps> this is so amazing. I totally forgot about this. Can you guys imagine the oldies music that's in here? Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this thing. I've got the wrapper for Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> Um, I've also got a Michael Kors rose gold watch in here because I was wearing it not too long ago. I've got another receipt. This is from Nordstrom for a pair of booties. This is, oh my god, this is a business card for a really crappy catering company Zach and I went and did a tasting at. We were just tasting their appetizers and they had Costco appetizers at the damn tasting. Okay, you know those quiches that Costco sells? They have like the spinach, um, cheese and spinach? I don't know, the spinach ones, and they have like a ham and egg one. They were serving those at the tasting. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Why would I hire a catering company and get Costco apps? Like, ugh. unacceptable. I've got another SD card. This is the little adapter, because um, we have a drone, and we also have the DJI Osmo, and it's a tiny, tiny SD card. It's called a micro SD card, I think, and it needs an adapter, so I always keep this in this bag, otherwise I would lose it, so. Next, I've got the Vaseline Rosy Lips, little lip balm. It's a tiny baby one. I've got some tweezers in here. These are like really crappy ones that I bought from Target. <laughs> but you never know when there will be an eyebrow out of place. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this. It's a little earring that I got from Forever 21. It's so cute. You guys, I need to show you how cute this is, okay? It's like little branches. Do you see that? It's like a cute little tree branch. Oh my god, I love this. And it's supposed to like cuff. 
up here and then like this part goes through your ear like that. So cute, I love this one. I've got a belly ring that I bought from Etsy and it's so cute. Here, let me show you guys. Look how cute that is. But this thing turned my belly button like purple. It's so bad, so I don't wear this, but it's really cute. I've got a movie ticket stub for Pan from October 8th, 2015. Like almost two years ago. Um, and then I have a little fortune from Pan Express and it says, there is always time for you to try a new path in life. And I don't usually keep my fortunes, but I kept this one because I can 100% relate to this. And I got this at a point in my life where I was taking a new path and so this is very very special to me and I feel like everyone should just always keep that in mind that it's never too late in your life to pursue a different path and in my case it was just following my dreams and my real passion so wow this is a really good fortune that is everything in this bag. I told you guys, I carry so much random junk and I just love this bag because it saves me and it's so pretty. And let me tell you the truth, I've never ever used this compartment before, ever. But it's there, cool. I will have to start using it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, this video if you enjoyed and if you think my bag is so cute I know it's old I am planning on purchasing a new bag soon so give me some recommendations of bags that you guys recommend currently I am really loving Chloe bags so my next bag purchase may be a Chloe bag but we'll see please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more and I will leave links to some other videos that you guys can watch in the meantime down below. Rain drops, drop top, smoking on cooking a hot box, fucking on your bitch here thot thot, cooking the dough in the crock pot, we came from nothing to sun to breath, I don't just